So we're going to have a look um, at the other level. Now we looked at this earlier on PS3, but what I want to see um, is what it's like on PS4. So having looked at Cascade Glade, we're going to look at Winter Keep. This is um, one of the levels they're demonstrating. And as I say, we saw it on PS3. And so you come flying in here with Flynn in his new um, his new battleship. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to include heating, so they all are looking a bit cold. And the sort of the, the palette of this level is, is real sort of blues and purples as we get into the game. And as I said, we saw this on PS3. So it's going to be interesting to see, once we get down to the game, past the cutscene, what this looks like um, when we're actually playing. I think it'd be a, quite a nice comparison um, here at Gamescom. So, with Duff, we need to meet him, meet him down there and use the catapults to progress through the level. Oh, yes. Yeah, so, I mean, did you notice that straight away? The way um, Rollerball there moved through that water, it created ripples in it. And I don't think we saw that on the PS3. Um, now, this is, is obviously a level that our, our player here has played before, so I'm expecting him to progress quite nice and quickly. Here we are at our Cyclops um, projectile attacking characters. Um, so, we're playing with Rollerball. Um, level 5 and she's doing a pretty good job of this close combat if you can get close enough before they get their attack in she can inflict quite a nice bit of damage and a nice level up as well you can, can't complain about that it's always nice to have a level so let's let's move up up the uh, the side of this um, path here up the slope let's see what's at the top I think there's a whole bunch of enemies nice to get that ice cream power up to um, fill up rollerball's health so here we are as you can see the gate there has got some swords and a shield that means you need to kill all the enemies in the area to progress just like in the old skylanders um giants and skylanders spice adventures so there you go the gates open now where will we go you could go back and carry on down that road and there's more things to do but we're going to press on here second time through and i think we're, we're looking to sort of see the whole level on PS4 so let's have let's make sure we have a look in detail at what this looks like and so have a look at the cobblestones here as you see them moving around you can see that there's a, a much um, more of a sense of raised material and as the players walk over them now that's something they couldn't do on the PS3 or the um, 360 they were just sort of a like a um, a picture on top of a flat a flat vector whereas here they're actually raised up now of course that doesn't make a big difference to gameplay and we're talking the sort of minutiae here rather than anything else a nice level up again um, but I think it adds to the whole feel of the game and it certainly makes it feel a sort of a bit more polished and a bit more plush I quite like them to sort of up the number of players I think if they would come out at Gamescom and had said look PS4 Hey guys, we're going to have four players because they have got the they've got the horsepower to do that. It's just a matter of programming the game and testing it to make sure that it's going to be able to cope with that. That would be a massive headline. Now I don't know whether we should hold out hope that that might happen still, but I think really what we're seeing is them focusing the story about PS4 Skylanders. What force is not is that it's a launch title on PS4, which is great. Um, and it looks visually Im improved. Here we are at the Snowball Catapult. So again, like Angry Birds, we saw in our other, other videos, um, you have to hold down the button to the right length, um, and then um, the projectile goes the equivalent distance. And you can see the, the, the number of details there, the, le the sort of level of items exploding, how much exploded, um, what what sort of debris was left in the level um, is a little bit more on the on the PS4. But I think if, if you um, put this in front of my kids, I don't think they'd be like, oh, Dad, I don't want to play the PS3 version. Um, really, they're not going to notice a huge amount of difference. It's going to be more, more of the core gamer or the avid fan of Skylanders who wants to play it on the tip-top version that's going to be wanting to play this on those new next-generation consoles. So here we go, as we've seen this in, before the Aurora Rails. Now, ironically, we're playing as Rollerball. So, of course, she's skating along the rails as if she's sort of grinding her way along. And I think the way that each each character rides these rails is different, and it looks different. Um, although the gameplay mechanic is the same. She's fl flipping and flopping between the different levels, getting all that money. Well, she wants to upgrade next, the next chance she has. Really needs to avoid those snowballs, though, because that's going to be damaging. She's down to 104 health. That energy bar is getting reduced, so she needs to be careful of that. Uh, but like I was saying, I think uh, really quite, you know, the, the bigger headline for the, the next generation consoles would have been a four player version, um, but it doesn't sound like that's going to be the case. So here we come down to the next bit of the level and we meet our frost elf um, and we need to find something to dig up the snow that's blocking the path left and right. So as we've seen before, we head down into this chamber. And again, on PS4, you can see the, the level of detail, um, how much like, there's the flames there at the back, those red flames in that um, little crucible. 
a lot, lot more realistic, um, but it's those little touches that are going to be different on the PlayStation 4 than, than other, than with sort of gameplay elements um, of, the, of the console. So we need to take this outside and then clear out, clear out the digging. Clear, sorry, clear out the digging? What does that mean? Clear out the snow, dig up the snow, um, with those wallable charges over, uses the right two, uh, and finds our key. We can now progress. Now I wonder if, again, our player's ignoring the bit on the left. Uh, you could go down there. There's lots of optional areas in Skylanders Hot Force, and that was, would be one of them. So here we go. Our, uh, oh, it's blocked the um, name of it. Uh, so we can't quite see what they're called. Evil something. I'm sure you can tell me in the comments what they were called. And also, he's obviously switched over to a new Skylander. So that's tech on the top, undead on the bottom. So we know that that is Magnus Shake. And I mean, something to be said there for that magic moment. Now, a big um, focus of Toys for Bob was on creating a tangible, magical experience of those magic moments, as they called. The moment when you place your Skylander's figure on the portal um, and it's brought into the game. They were very clear they wanted to make that a real tangible crossover between real and imaginary. And you see again with Vicarious Visions a real focus on PS4, on making those visuals really stand out. They really look very sharp, there's a lot more detail, there's a lot more glow and buzz more happening on the screen as you place your Skylanders figure on the portal and that magic moment happens. And I think that's the right place to focus because really it's that connection between the character and the toy um, that I think Sky Skylanders Swap Force excels at. Now Disney Infinity maybe didn't need to do that quite as much because... Um, we already have a connection to those Disney toys. We already know them. They're already sort of part of our lives. Now, Skylander characters are obviously new, so we need to have a strong connection to them if they're going to sort of exist as sort of, you know, toys that become part of our childhood memories. And really, that's what's happening in our family. So, pressing on. Again, you can see Magna Charge's bar filling up as he shoots. That, that will overheat, so that he, he it's a way for them to limit how powerful his gun is. Now, now as you progress with Magna Charge, you can reduce how quickly it heats up and also you can re reduce the time it takes for it to cool down again. Here in Winter's Keep we need to get up to that that um, furnace because what's happened is that ice monster has frozen the furnace which has in turn frozen the whole of, th of the architecture that's supporting this world and most importantly that dragon, the elf dragon at the top of that mountain. We need to get to that to defrost it. So you see a quick flash of the PS4 controller there now it, it, you can see that as it's being played it's just the um you know the, the, the normal controls that the touchpad isn't used the share button you can use you know, that's that's supported and another thing that they've that they've announced is that it will support the vita so you can use um remote play to um play your skyland assault force game really anywhere as long as you've got an internet connection on the vita um you can then play it anywhere and i've in the past i've played video games in the bath <laughs> or watched watch content while i was having a soak in the tub um which is quite you know it's quite nice it's quite nice to be able to take that away and i know our kids when they visit grandparents and take and go on holiday to be able to take their game with them and not only take a portable version like the 3DS but actually take the, and play their PS4 while they're not at home. It means they can progress their characters. Now of course one limit of that is that you won't, you won't be able to switch which Skylanders are on the portal, not remotely anyway. So um, something they've been thinking about doing is having to pick the Skylanders they want on the portal before they go. That obviously limits things slightly but it just it's quite a nice nice way to change up what's on offer and you know how you play the game on the PlayStation 4 and certainly gives it an advantage over maybe the Xbox 360 Xbox one versions so here we are mixed up this time we've got rattle shakes top and magna charges bottom level 10 rattle shake now the level there comes from the top half of the Skylander character rather than the bottom half um, the bottom half can be upgraded separately. Interesting spinning spin approach there to try and tackle these enemies. Um, but it's the top half that can that, that records the character's money and the top half that records his experience. So the level 10 there isn't a product of both top and bottom, but is just the rattle part of, of the character. But you can upgrade both the top and the bottom separately, which I quite like. So, uh, for instance, if you had a load of money in Rattle Shake and he was fully upgraded, I think what you could do is switch in the bottom of somebody else and then use that money to upgrade that character. Because that's often a problem. We have one character which we have enjoyed playing with more than the others, and he um, or she ends up ha having the sort of the lion's share of all the money um, as we just sort of progress with this puzzle. 
Um, and th that money's there is wasted because once they've been fully upgraded, you can't spend it on anything else. Here we are, right to, we're going to head on up to the very top here and we'll be hunting for snowmen as we get back on the Aurora Rail. Now this, more, this is a bit more challenging, have to do some jumping here, hope that our player's ready. Also at the same time there's more rewards, so you can see those more coloured in elements of the rails, I think it gives you a bit of a speed boost. Um, and it's just nice to see that there's sort of the part of part of the Skyline experience that's been expanded. You can see here again there's a greater draw depth and those particle effects you, you wouldn't see on the PlayStation 3. Um, and so the, the number of things that's going on on the screen, obviously it has to cope with these levels as two players and, and single players is just increased. And the sort of the swirling smoke we're going through and those sparkling um, landing zones. And just real, the real sort of creation that this is a real ice world as we face Ice Gear Golem. Now we've seen the Fire Gear Golem in um, the gulch level that we saw when Skylander Swap Force was announced back in New York and Times Square. Now, how is he going to approach this gear golem? It looks he got frozen there, and there's that and not only did damage, but then continued to keep him frozen, which I think slowed him down. Yeah, and kept him still, so he was then vulnerable to attacks from other characters. Now, it's hard to tell how much energy the gear golem's got left. Now, this is something I would like Skylanders to do better. Maybe have on these bigger monsters an energy bar up above, above them. Oh, wow, so we level up to level 11. So it's over halfway there for Rattle Shake. So it's the Rattle Shake element part of the character that's upgraded. Um, yes, I, I think it would be nice to be able to see what, um, how much damage you got left. To, um, to tackle those monsters. So I think that's where we'll leave it for now. Uh, we've sort of seen this on PS3, so you can go check out our video there. But that gives you a good sense of what Skylanders Hot Force is like on PS4.